Now we are going to solve a problem that is based on Lamy's theorem. Here, in this problem, what is mentioned? First, I'll read the problem. Without uh, reading, you can understand. A baby is playing in a swing, which is hanging with the help of two identical chains. It's at rest. Identify the forces acting on the baby. Apply Lamy's theorem and find out the tension acting on the chain. That is the question asked. Here, the diagram is given in the textbook. I have shown the photo of the uh, diagram which is given in the textbook. Here, this is the location point of the child. Are you clear? So, with the help of the support of these two chains, that swing is hanged. Here, this is the location of the child. Here, tension T1 is acting in the string. Tension T2 is acting in the string. And the gravitational force acting on the child, it is acting towards downward direction. That is Mg. Here, three forces are acting. All the three forces, they are concurrent in nature. That is, they are acting at this point. The lines of actions of all the three forces, they are meeting here. So, finally, the system, it is in equilibrium. Are you clear? The forces, they are in the equilibrium condition. Here, for the sake of convenience, you draw a line here, dotted line. Here, this angle, total angle that can be, in this one, this line it acts as a bisector. So, the angle, what is drawn here, that can be taken as theta. Same theta, it will be here. For the sake of geometrical convenience, we have taken theta and theta. So, the total angle will be 2 theta. That you have to understand. Are you clear? Now, we will measure the angles now. Now, the total angle can be taken as, what is this? 2 theta. Here, just you, with reference to this line, with reference to the line, this angle is theta. So, what will be the angle here? The total angle is 180. With respect to the line, the total angle is 180. 180 minus theta is this angle. Therefore, this angle can be written as 180 minus theta. Here, again, I am using the same reference line. This angle is theta means the total angle will be 180. The remaining angle will be here also. We are able to get the value as 180 minus theta. So, here the angle is 2 theta in between T1 and T2. The angle between T2 and Mg is 180 minus theta. Angle between T1 and Mg is also 180 minus theta. Now, we know all the angles. We know about Lamy's theorem. According to the Lamy's theorem, how the equation can be written. I will write the general equation. Let us take three forces. F1, that is directly proportional to which one? That sin alpha. This is the equation which is written with the help of the theory. F1 is directly proportional to sin alpha. That can be written as F1 divided by sin alpha is a constant. That one will be equal to F2 divided by sin beta. This ratio is also a constant. F2 divided by sin beta will also be a constant. That constant will be equal to F1 divided by sin alpha. Let us take the third force, F3, that is directly proportional to sin gamma. What the theorem says, any one of the forces is directly proportional to sin of the angle between other two forces other two forces. If this one is taken as F1 means this angle can be taken as alpha. If this angle, if this force is taken as F2 means here, if this force is taken as F2 means the opposite angle can be taken as beta. If this force is taken as F3 means this opposite angle can be taken as gamma. So, according to that I have written. But from the diagram, this pattern of equation to be changed according to the diagram. Let us take this one as the first force. Here, according to this diagram, we have to write. Instead of F1, we can write it as T1 divided by, which one is alpha here? Alpha is this angle. Therefore, it can be written as, what is the angle there instead of alpha? 180 minus theta, which is equal to. F2, instead of F2, you can take T2. 
t2 divided by sin beta which one is beta this is beta opposite angle of t2 is this one beta are you clear therefore we can write it as 180 minus theta always if this force is considered the angle between other two forces to be taken along with this sign must be written is equal to f3 the third force is mg mg divided by sin gamma which one is gamma here this is gamma instead of gamma we can write it as 2 theta so everything is written what is asked in the problem you are asked to find out the ta tension acting on the string are you clear tension acting on the string to be found out here the thing is uh, we have to simplify this equation t1 divided by sin 180 minus theta sin 180 minus theta is sin theta as per trigonometrical formulas sin 180 minus theta is sin theta so straight away we can write sin theta understood and then which is equal to t2 divided by here also sin 180 minus theta can be written as sin theta understood mg mg divided by sin 2 theta is there with the help of trigonometrical formula we can write sin 2 sin theta cos theta can be written sin 2 theta is equal to 2 sin cos theta that is a formula understood here the thing is this tension t1 and t2 both of them will be equal are you clear tension t1 and t2 will be equal therefore what can we do here because this is also is it clear t by sin theta this is also equal to t by sin theta therefore t1 and t2 both of them will be equal understood so here let us take any one of the equation understood <laughs> So later instead of writing T1 and T2 since both are equal this one can be simply written as T understood both are equal no therefore T instead of T1 and T2 it can be written as T and T. Let us take one of the equation T by sin theta is equal to mg divided by 2 sin theta cos theta can be written understood. Here one sin theta can be cancelled. Therefore, T will be equal to mg divided by 2 cos theta. So, in that format we can write. So, this is the formula. With the help of this, we are able to measure the tension acting along this string or that string. Therefore, by knowing the value of mg, the child, the child mass must be known. You know the value of acceleration due to gravity 9.8 and provided the t theta value must be known are you clear if you know the value of theta by substituting all the value we are able to calculate the tension acting on the string here one more question is asked what are the forces acting on the child the first one is two tensions are acting one tension is acting here another tension is acting therefore two tensions are acting here on the child and one gravitational force gravitational force is always acting towards downward direction Therefore, tensions are acting and the gravitational force is acting on the child. So, this is the formula. With the help of this, we are able to calculate the tension. This one could be proved in some other form also. Okay, this one could be proved in some other form. How? With the help of diagram, we can show, is it clear, how the vectors can be res resolved. Therefrom also, we are able to get the same formula. Understood? Now we are going to resolve the tensions into two components, vertical component and horizontal component. I am going to draw the diagram on the board, just you know how the tensions are resolved. Here this tension is a vector now. So this is this one will the horizontal component of the tension, this tension. Here theta is there, its horizontal component will act along this direction that one can be taken as t cos theta because theta is there is a horizontal component of this tension this this is the direction of vertical component of the tension so here t sin theta will act t is resolved into t cos theta and d sin theta 
in the same manner this tension also can be resolved into two components its horizontal here theta is there therefore horizontal component will act in this direction therefore along the same line here one more t cos theta that is horizontal component of this tension will act both two t cos theta both are acting in the same direction make a note are you clear two t cos theta are, are acting in the same direction the vertical component of t that one will act in this direction are you clear this is a direction of t sin theta the vertical component of this tension t sin theta that one is equal and opposite to the vertical component of this this tension therefore these two are equal and opposite in the direction therefore both will be nullifying with each other are you clear so here how many t cos theta are there two t cos theta are there therefore both of them to be added are you clear so if both are added you will get 2t cos theta if these two horizontal components are added you will get 2t cos theta this two vectors if they are added that one will be equal to mg so from this diagram what is the conclusion if these two are added you will get 2t cos theta that one will be equal to mg now i am going to equate that mg with the 2t cos theta on the other side so i'll write it here mg gravitational force is equal and opposite to which one 2t cos theta therefore 2t cos theta is equivalent to mg from this expressions also we are able to get the tension formula t is equal to mg divided by cos theta can be written so with the help of the resolution of vector i have got the same formula are you clear i have got the same formula t t is equal to mg divided by 2 cos theta this is obtained after resolving the tensions are you clear this expression was obtained with the help of lamis theorem this is the expression tension expression that is obtained with the help of the resolution of vector from the both we are getting the same expression with the help of this we are able to get the expression for tension which is acting in the string okay i hope you have understood very interesting problem understood